from Vintage Makeovers with Melanie. This is how to layer paint for a chippy textured finish. Windmill Vintage Designs is located in Albuquerque, New Mexico. We're gonna start off using Debbie's Design Diaries blending brush. The first layer we're going to apply is mint chip. You can find all of these products at windmillvintagedesigns.com. Apply your paint in multi-layers going all different directions. We want a very textured look. Now we're going to do the same thing with Old 57. Next we're going to apply Mermaid Tail using the same fashion. Be certain not to cover all your piece with the same colors. layering your paint to get the look that you want. I decided that I needed more mint chip. Now it's time to mix up some bottles of water. You may have seen Debbie from Debbie's Design Diaries do this technique in a different fashion. Using Four different water bottles. I mixed mint chip, vintage linen, bohemian blue, and mermaid tail into my bottles of water. Then I proceeded to spray my piece down, working in layers and generally letting the paint run down. I used a water bottle with just plain water to make sure that I didn't have any drips. Spraying it down with just water will make sure that you don't have any runs left on your piece. I sprayed my piece very hard and close to it so that I could get some distressing with the water. It really helps to make it an authentic look. In the areas where the paint was thin from all the water I applied, I went back and distressed it with a wet towel. I didn't like how much distressing happened on that one portion right there, so I went back and repeated the process. Applying mint chip and then mermaid tail, and then my bottles of water mixed with paint. I used a soft touch and kind of a feathering technique because I didn't want this new part to stand out from my existing piece. This paint is reactivated with water, so I was able to blend it in and get the same look. This piece was very old and dry, so I decided to seal it with Wise Owl Furniture Salve. The Lemon Bravita smells wonderful, it treats the wood, and it seals my project. So that's it. The cabin's all done. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you'd like to see how I did the top, put a new top on it. Please stay tuned, that video will come up pretty soon. From Vintage Makeovers with Melanie, this is Melanie, and I hope to see you guys soon.